This is hello. Crashing down like a fallen angel. Or maybe hey guys, welcome to Surf Show and Tell. I'm Noel Salas, and today's surfboard review is the new flyer by Channel Islands. And I've got the new flyer in three different materials. We have it in the polyurethane, we have it in the epoxy, and we also have it in the SurfTech TL Pro Carbon EPS. All three boards are stock. These two are the exact same dimensions. They're both 5'8 by 19 and 8 by 2 and 5 16 and the liters of volume is 26.4. This one's 5'6 by 19 by 2 and a quarter, 25.1. I'm 5'9 and 170 pounds. You can find the new flyer at your local retailer with three different tail designs. You've got the squash tail, the swallow tail, and the round tail. These three are squash tails, and I can't wait to get into this review. So let's dive right into the attributes of this board, starting with the rocker. It has a medium to aggressive entry rocker to a stage rocker into a medium to aggressive tail rocker. So with the entry rocker being medium to aggressive, it can handle a wave that is steeper and one that has a bit of slope to it, and I'll tell you why. When you get into a stage rocker, that can handle a slopey wave, so a wave that's not as steep, right? And it'll help you get through mushy sections. The, the medium to aggressive tail rocker will keep the board in an aggressive posture when you're doing turns, whether you're coming off the bottom to do a good bottom turn to smack or stay right in the hook on your top turns. And it's also got a great pivot point on the tail with the bump so that way I can do great tight turns in the arc all right so with this being a remake from the 90, 1999 flyer to the new flyer they went shorter and wider with a curvier outline with the bump in the tail so that way you can keep a tight turn radius so let's have a look at the concaves of this board and see what makes it so unique so we've got a single concave running through the bottom here, through the middle, and then it's coming right into a spiral V in front of the fins, all the way through the tail. Most boards just have V exit out the tail. But with a spiral V, if I can explain it like this, if this is the bottom of the board here, and we want to put in the, the, the spiral V, that's actually a reverse concave. So if, my, if this is the middle of the board, and I'm going to put V in, it's going to turn the board like this, and the top of that point would be the stringer. So what that's going to do is when I go to turn or get the board on rail, it's going to be easy to transition from right rail to left rail. So when I'm coming off the bottom, I, it, it's easy to get to that left rail, and then I'm driving off the next turn, which is the right rail, and it just transitioned easily. And for me, it felt really good. And I don't think I've ever ridden a board with spiral V in front of the fins that moves all the way through the tail. So it felt unique, and it feels, it feels pretty good under my feet. So let's have a look at the outline of this board, the rail, and the tail. So the outline is a bit curvy, so you've got a wide point here at 19 and an eighth. And then you've got, you've got the, the bump on the tail starts right above the, of the fins, which is going to give you your pivot point here, and your, your, your break in your rocker is going to start at the same spot. Right, so that's gonna make the board really pivotal in the pocket and in your cutbacks. So when the wave gets steep and you start to start that carve, it's gonna feel like the board is gripping just perfect. And I love that about it. And because it has the wider outline at 19 and an eighth and the narrower tail, it's gonna feel a little bit more like a regular standard shortboard, which is great. The other thing I like about the board is it doesn't have um, a full boxy rail and it doesn't have a really pinched or tapered rail. So the rail feels normal to me. So all in all, this board feels really good in my hand and it also felt good right in the pocket. 
So let's talk about the three different materials and what they felt like under my feet. And then you can judge by looking at the video and decide what you think looks the best under my feet. So first of all, the PU, I've ridden PU most of my whole life. And PU is basically what I order for all my boards. It's got the best flex and the most consistency and the least amount of chatter when the waves get big and the wind blows. So the PU is basically the staple of surfing today. But with technology out there and we're always pushing the envelope with technology, we're always gotta try new things. So under my feet, the PU felt the best and like the PU is gonna flex good this way and it also has good torsion flex. So it, it has a, a good flex and twist, right? So if I'm pushing on my right, on my bottom turn, the board's flexing and twisting this way. And when I, when I come out of that turn, it's, it's gonna rebound and spring me, right? Well, let's talk about the EPS. Oh, and by the way, this is a ultralight stock board and most of them come ultralight. Now, I did not order this custom. This is also a stock board and this has a six with a four and a four, which is a heavier glass. The weight of this board feels about the same as the PU, but it's a heavier glass job and it felt a bit stiff under my feet. You also have the carbon on the bottom here and with it starting here, they're gonna stiffen up the middle and they're gonna look for more, they're gonna try and manipulate that, that flex right here out of the tail so it's gonna spring out of my bottom turns and out of my top turns, right? Well, I really struggled with this board because of the glass job. I felt like it was a bit heavy on the epoxy um, and that's my job to tell you guys what feels the best. But if you remember the Peregrine Groveler, I had one in PU and I also had one in EPS and it was they were both team light. The team light at four and a half pounds felt too light to ride every day as an everyday driver because the wind was blowing it around everywhere. So I think if you look at this glass job and the team light, I think dead smack in the middle would be ultralight. Order it in an ultralight and you'll have the best of both. You'll have the EPS super light and it'll, it'll hold up under the wind. So if I'm gonna compare the two with the PU and this particular EPS, PU one for me, what it felt like under my feet. And then this is the TL Carbon, Pro Carbon by SurfTech. <clears throat> this board's pretty dense. It's actually really hard. The weight isn't super light. I would say it feels about the same as the, the PU. And if you can see it here, there is no pressure dents on this board. It does have a EPS foam core, and when you ding it, it needs to be fixed, right? Some of the old surf tech models, they don't need to be fixed, right? But this one does. So the pros to this board is really cool, is this board's a great board to try new maneuvers and tricks on because you fall, you put, you hit your, yourself, your body on it, and this one's not gonna ding or dent, as you can sell, tell there's no pressure dents on this board, except for one little tiny one right here, but it held up real nice. I'll tell you the other con thing that I don't like about this board is that they only make it in certain sizes. So the 5'8 and the 5'6, so I can't order this board custom even if I wanted to, and I think that's a con. But it did feel good under my feet. It felt the best under my feet out of the three. So now how this board does not have great torsion flex, so twisting on bottom turns. So what I did was I compensated that with going with the FRP fin when the waves got small. So I was getting my flex out of the fin to compensate for the board's lack of flex in the areas that I wanted it to. When the waves got bigger, I was using the Channel Island fin, which felt really good under my feet and made this board feel a bit more solid, but it did have a little bit of chatter. So when we talk about EPSs and PUs and the different materials, we're looking to get rid of the nuances and we're looking for great flex, great spring. These are the things we're looking for. So I tried different fins with all the different boards, but at one point I was just riding the new CI fin with all three towards the end. And this is a medium flex pattern fin at a 4.6 on the ride number. So it's, it's got real great consistency and that's how they felt under my feet. But you be the judge in the video. I broke each, I broke all the footage up so you could look for yourself and see that board looked the best under his feet. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you like the show, subscribe and check it out. Check me out on Instagram under Surf Show and Tell. Take care. Bye-bye. The SurfTech TL Pro Carbon Composite construction is combined with a fused cell EPS core that utilizes a proprietary stringer system 
that is custom built to each individual board. Strategically positioned carbon reinforcement laminated over a layer of high density foam strengthens the board while creating the lively flex pattern that can only be found in the TLPC technology. This is hello. Crashing down like a fallen angel, or maybe waves of sound into the ground. Cross your heart for real, and not your fingers. Just tell. Street.